we are discussing one topic that is unclustered index. In the previous video, we have discussed the clustered index. We know that in case of clustered index, the indices will be found in the same order in which the records or the tuples will be existing in the data file. But in case of unclustered index, this index entries, their respective order will not be same the order in which records are existing in the data file. So that is a very basic difference between clustered and unclustered index. So now let us go for the detailing. So in unclustered index, index entries and the rows are not ordered in the same way. Just consider one book. At the beginning, we are getting the chapter index. So the chapters are occurring in the index in the same order in which the chapters are there in the rest pages of the book. Now go for the topic index, which is which we usually found at the end of the book. Now we can find that those topic index we are having the respective indexes are there, the respective page numbers are there, but the order in which they are occurring, the alphabetical order in which the topic index is occurring, the topics are not occurring in the same order in the rest part of the main book. So that is the basic difference between this clustered and unclustered index. Okay. A secondary index might be clustered or unclustered. Secondary index means that is a separate index and that is a location mechanism there. Index entries are there and that is a separate file which is containing the rows or tuples. So a secondary index might be clustered or unclustered. With respect to the storage structure, it references. But mostly, it is generally unclustered. That means the orders are different, the index orders and the record orders. There can be many secondary indices on the same table. Index created by create index statement is generally an unclustered secondary index is going to get created. Okay, now let us go for one diagram for the better understanding. So here you see this is the secondary index. So it is the mechanism for locating index entries and these are the index entries are there. This is a data file which is containing data records. So now see the first index entry is pointing to the ith one. The second index entry is pointing to the second accidentally. The third index entry is pointing to the first. The last index entry is pointing to the third record. In this way, you can find that these index entries are not pointing to the records in which they are occurring in the respective data file. So it is a good example of unclustered secondary index. Secondary index means it has got detached with the data file and unclustered means the orders are not same. So in this way, in this session, we have got a detailed idea regarding the unclustered index. Thanks for watching this video.